What you're seeing is real. A frog born with twisted, broken limbs. But this isn't a birth defect. It's the result of something living inside it. A parasite. Small, ancient, and disturbingly strategic. This creature cannot survive alone. It needs three different hosts to complete its life. The story begins inside a bird. The adult parasite lives and breeds within its intestines. Its eggs leave the body through the bird's waist and fall into the shallow water below. There, the eggs hatch, releasing tiny, free-swimming larvae. Their mission? Find a snail. Once they penetrate the snail's body, they multiply without mating, thousands of copies forming inside the host. Then they escape. Each one now transformed into a stage called Circaria, armed with a tail and a purpose. They swim through the water, searching for their next victim, young amphibians, tadpoles or salamanders. They enter through the skin or the gills and settle inside the developing body, targeting one place only, the growing limbs. There, they manipulate the tissue, interrupt normal growth, and the result is horrifying, missing legs, extra legs, twisted bones. The frog becomes slow, clumsy, unable to leap or escape. To most, it looks like a tragedy of nature. But to the parasite, it's a perfect trap. Because now, the deformed frog becomes easy prey for the same kind of bird that started this story. When the bird eats the frog, the parasite enters its intestine again, matures, and begins a new cycle of life. From bird, to snail, to frog, and back to bird. A continuous chain built on deception, manipulation, and survival. The world of parasites is full of strategies like this one, each more complex and more astonishing than the last. This is not chaos, it's design, creation's darkest symmetry.